Well, it won't be long before students will be packing lunches and heading back to school. In today's Take Care of Your Home, the focus is on making the right choices to get the school year off to a healthier start. And regist registered dietitian from Kowalski, Sue Moores, is back with us to talk about some healthy options for kids. Yeah, it, it, we think of breakfast as the most important meal for uh -huh. our school, but actually more kids skip lunch then they really? do breakfast. And if they eat breakfast, hopefully, by the time they get to lunch, they're really hungry. If they skip that, we talked about, or they talked about the exercise and all of that, you really right. need to fuel those brain cells with really good food, too. And that's why lunch is a pretty critical piece of having a good school year. Okay, well, I, I see the ho-hos over here, which yeah. was my favorite lunch. We'll get to that in a <laughs> we'll minute. We'll get to those. Yeah, so let's start off with the, the things that are important to have. In, yeah, in as people are planning lunches, really important is to get your kids involved. Because if your kids are making the lunch, they're more apt to eat the lunch. If we as parents are making the lunch, it's an open the bag, what's it, oh, I don't like it so much, maybe I'll trade for, right. whatever. So there's four pieces to a healthy lunch. You want to have some kind of protein, because uh -huh. that's what keeps their energy lasting throughout the day. You want fruits and vegetables. You want a whole grain. And then you want some kind of a calcium or vitamin D source, and usually that comes from a drink. So those four pieces are, are the puzzle for putting together a good lunch. And this lunch that's next looks, I'm guessing, like a lot of school lunches. Yes, it, it didn't make the grade. This is, <laughs> this is a failing school lunch. It's not such a great lunch, and it is a pretty common lunch. So if you just switch out pieces of that, the actual stuff that's in the sandwich, the ham and the cheese, are great. But if you switch out the bread to a whole grain, 100% whole grain bread, they have really soft ones now. Uh -huh. That used to be the complaint with a lot right. of kids is, ugh, it's all dusty dry. Exactly. But it's, there's some really soft ones. So put the same filling into a whole grain bread and you're good to go. Good to go. Mm -hmm. Then switch out the chips for, again, a whole grain if you can. And popcorn is great. Actually, you could make a little mix with some cereal and dried fruit. Kix is great. Oh, that's fun. Kids These like mini popcorn. Weeds. Yep, so it's crunchy and all of that. A little bit of salty, but the whole grain and then the fruit you need and then a good drink, a dependable drink. So you want to look for drinks that have some calcium in them, maybe some vitamin D or water is a great choice. Certainly milk is a perfect choice. So this is a great lunch. It, but you're competing with what we're about to see, yes. which is the lunch the kids want, <laughs> the lunch the kids are going to trade for. I mean, how do, how do you do that? How do you make them want to eat the good stuff instead of the uh, snacks and the lunchables? Well, you know, that one is, that's a great question. One is getting them involved. They're seeing a lot of this, but they're coming off of summer with the fruits, all the wonderful watermelon and all of that. So take uh -huh. some of what you've been doing at home over the summer and bring it back into your lunch boxes. So yes, you see a lot of people with this, but this really gets pretty old after a while. So if you go over to the wonderful fruits that you've probably got already in your refrigerator, certainly have a sweet like some um, pudding because that's got some calcium, a great drink, and then nibbles. Kids love to dip, so if you do some colorful fruit with some uh, some kind of a dip or take a deli salad at Kowalski's. We have some yep. wonderful deli salads. Throw them into a pita pocket or into a wrap. Okay, but so really, there are options. It's about getting kids involved and then just be sure that you do the food safety piece of this. Right. Food can sit out, and we heard about the eggs, but foods can sit out for two hours at room temperature before it's not good. Okay, so, so keep cold it cold pack. and bring the hand sanitizer. Absolutely. All right, Sue, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Good to see you. And to see Sue's healthy lunches and snacks again, go online to care11.com, click on the Home tab. We also have some moms on Moms Like Me looking for some healthy vegetarian lunches. If you have ideas, just head to our mom site to swap recipes with the other moms.